Let's be real, I repeat outfits like an American Kate Middleton. Oh yes, I'm proud of that. What's up socials, welcome back to Amy TV. I wanted to have a little bit of fun today, something different. I know a lot of you are like me and going through your closets right now because it's time to get your summer wardrobe. Where it's at, trust me, I think about this a lot more than probably I should. <laughs> Thank goodness winter has finally left the building. Left the building! See you later, sweaters. So I pride myself on having a pretty organized closet, mostly because I would go totally insane if I didn't, I, I like, legitimately crazy. But there's something that I actually do to keep all the good stuff up front and right in front of me when I get into my closet and I have to pick something quickly and also not make me feel like my wardrobe is stale. That's literally the worst feeling in the world after you especially have maybe bought a couple of things is going back into your closet and still feeling like, ugh kind of sucks in here. So today I'm going to share my little life hack to keep that vibrancy in your wardrobe and hopefully it'll be helpful for you. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and I'd love to have you back for the next one. If we're going to remember something really important to kick us off here about your wardrobe, your clothing, your closet, your shoes, everything, if you haven't been wearing it, you ain't gonna wear it. I know we like to convince ourselves that like, oh no, it's just not been the right occasion, but I have found that I will find any reason ever to wear the stuff that I absolutely love. I've gotten to a point in my life where I'm like, I don't even care what anyone else is wearing. I feel good about what I picked out and uh, y'all can fall in line. <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> so trying to convince yourself that you're gonna wear something down the road that you haven't been wearing probably in like three to six months, just get rid of it. To give you some context on this, I actually had a bag of like summer clothes to put in my closet that I knew I would want and summer clothes that I was like, oh, if you're feeling it, put it back in the closet. And of course, I knew I wasn't feeling it. I was like, if I was didn't wear it last summer, I'm not gonna wear it again this summer. Goodbye, it's gotta go. You have to be able to have that conversation with yourself because I don't know very many people who can take the advice everybody gives of like, oh, have your friend come over and whatever they tell you to get rid of, just listen to them. My friends don't have that kind of time. I got way too much stuff to sort. You have to be real with yourself. If you have a lovely friend like that though, call them in. Get some champagne ready, let's do it. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you really wanna do yourself a favor and make sure you see all the good stuff, you wanna make sure everything has some space. If you can help it, I know sizes of closets and things like that are going to matter. I only have one bar in my closet that is for full length things, so that one's tighter than everything else because a dress can't go where only a shirt can hang, it's very annoying. But you do wanna have as much space as you can as possible between hangers because we don't need things getting wrinkled or lost because of the situation. And actually, if you have a smaller closet, let's be real, we're all circulating the same three outfits. Just pare down. So in order to kind of keep up with these things that I know are gonna make my closet better, I think of two specific questions when I go shopping. Number one, does this fill a need in my closet? If it's a black dress, always. But everything else has to have a rhyme or reason. <laughs> so I just love a good black dress, I do. And number two, if this new thing is coming in, what is going to go out? And I'll start to entertain the idea of if we're going to keep the same ample space for everything in my closet, I have to be able to circulate things out to make room for what's coming in. This second one is 90% of how I've been able to keep a fresh and fabulous closet all the time and really feel like I have a great place to go and pick something cute out to wear no matter what I'm doing. So now for today, I have actually purchased three new speaking dresses. If you don't know, I like to give talks about video and going after the life that you want. I have a bunch of different conferences call me and have me give talks on their stage and I like to wear a dress when I speak. I've purchased three new dresses for that purpose in the last month and so I need to cycle through three dresses out. I speak about twice a month, so I still like to have a few in stock and I will re-wear dresses, absolutely. But I know if I purchase something and I'm never gonna wear it, or if I purchase something and I've worn it to death, but it's time for it to go away because I'm not gonna wear it again, but I love it, then I just gotta cycle it out. These things happen and you have to keep things fresh. Can't buy three new dresses and expect everything to fit the same as it did before. When you talk about cycling things out of your closet, there are so many options at your disposal, but I 
I don't like to see a really good piece of clothing not get a new home. So today I'm going to be focused simply on the act of reselling pre-loved clothes from my closet. Thank you so much to Poshmark, this amazing app for buying and selling fashion, who is sponsoring this episode to help me make this happen today. I'm going to show you the whole process and some of the dresses that I'll actually be featuring in addition to some other things that I'll have in my Poshmark closet that will be available for purchase. If you would like to see the things I'll be listing or just give this app a try, make sure you download the Poshmark app totally for free with the link in the description. You can find my closet, my online closet, not my literal closet, my online closet by searching for Atchmetastic. That's my username pretty much everywhere. P.S. If you do follow me on Poshmark and you came over from this video, leave me a comment on one of my listings with the code word flower vibes so that I know you came from here. All right, so I'm gonna pop over to my mirror over by my closet so you can see the dresses that I will be listing, including this first one that I already have on. Okay, here is dress number one. You kind of saw the top half of it already. Um, it even has the tag on it still. This is a Maggie London dress. I believe I bought this from Nordstrom. And you know what? I just never really got around to wearing it. I don't know why. And even putting it on, I like feel so beautiful in it. But it just doesn't feel like the right fit anymore and I just love it. What you'll notice that I look for most of the time when I get speaking dresses, I usually always wear heels and so these are just kind of a typical height heel and I always like for the bottom of the dress to be below the knee. I just feel like that's appropriate on every stage. You know, you really don't have to worry about any variables there. Um, and I usually don't have my arms out but I liked the cut of this dress for that. So um, yeah, not not too shabby, but absolutely stunning. And I just know that I'm not going to wear it. Even though I love it, I know I don't feel like I'm going to wear it. And so those are the sort of the calls you have to make and say, okay, if I haven't worn it yet and I've spoken a lot, it's got to go. So I definitely want this one to go to a good home because it is so, so pretty and it has the tags on it. I never wore it. I mean, I've worn it like in my closet a million times, but that's pretty much it. So check that one out. All right, this next one is, look, wouldn't you guess I had at least one black dress here? <laughs> this is a Calvin Klein dress. Um, love these white stripes. I did wear this one, I think, one time. I think I only spoke in this one time. I probably threw a suit jacket over it, but again, I do really like the cut of this, so you definitely don't have to wear it. Um, I didn't zip it all the way, but like uh, with a jacket on top, I think it's still very tasteful. Um, you know, I'm always just looking for a balance. Again, like this one's a little bit above the knee, which worries me a little bit. So I try to cover up at least, you know, top or bottom in terms of as much skin as possible just to balance it out and stay professional. Um, but this dress, it, I love the belt and it's Calvin Klein. So it's just so classic. Um, you really can't go wrong with it. So I did wear this once at least. I wish I could remember where. I don't remember where and I always remember where I wear my dresses, but um, yeah, really good condition. And this cute little thing I must have bought while I was drunk because it's way too short to wear on stage. I did get to wear it for a different occasion. Um, I think I was just thinking, oh, the sleeves are so long and I love the bell sleeves, so cute. And this was like a really reasonably priced dress. Um, like, like it, it, the material is like not that bad considering I think it was pretty darn cheap. I remember when I wore it out, I actually wore like an over the knee boot um, because that's how I felt most comfortable in it. And it was also winter, so it just made sense. But it's a pretty simple dress and it's just sort of, oh, it's just way too short for speaking. So I think I had the best of intentions with this, but I was not keeping my head where it needed to be with the whole length being the right thing. I would never, I would never wear this on stage. like something else hat would have to be going on but even a tall boot i don't think could save this dress because you know you wave your hands around and things go flying so yeah but this is just so cute i love the back of it too um it's just got like a little opening the back of it is really cute um but yeah not gonna be a speaking dress Okay, I just wanna show you, I listed the dresses and a few other things, some shoes, some other dresses in my Poshmark store. So you can actually shop the dresses that I just showed you. Um, let's go with this first one real quick. 
and I just tried to show the best I could the detail of the dress and of course all the information about it is in the listing so you can go check that out at the Poshmark app the link is in the description and that is my username so come hang out with me and leave that comment so I know you came over that's my hack for a fresh and fabulous wardrobe always and also to make myself feel a little bit better when I'm shopping and I want to spend a little bit of money <laughs> I would love to know what you do to freshen up your wardrobe because I need all the tips. I need them all. Leave them in the comments below. And if you do join Poshmark, let me know in the comments also what your username is so that I can find you because I will be searching. I will be searching. The link to download the Poshmark app again for free is in the description below. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes and remember to continue to go after the life that you want. Cheers.